Americans pay more for prescription drugs than anywhere in the world. It's wrong, and I'm ending it. For the law that I proposed and signed, not one of you Republican buddies worked, voted for it. We finally beat Big Pharma. Instead of paying $400 a month or thereabouts for insulin with diabetes, and it only costs 10 bucks to make, they only get paid 35 a month now and still make healthy profit. And I want to. But what to do next? I want to cap the cost of insulin $35 a month for every American who needs it. Everyone. For years, people have talked about it, but finally we got it done and gave Medicare the power to negotiate lower prices on prescription drugs, just like the VA is able to do for veterans. That's not just saving seniors money. It's saving taxpayers money. We cut the federal deficit by $160 billion. Because Medicare will no longer have to pay those exorbitant prices to Big Pharma. This year, Medicare is negotiating lower prices for some of the costliest drugs on the market to treat everything from heart disease to arthritis. It's now time to go further and give Medicare the power to negotiate lower prices for 500 different drugs over the next decade. They're making a lot of money, guys. And they'll still be extremely profitable. Will not only save lives, it will save taxpayers another $200 billion. <laughs> Starting next year, the same law caps total prescription drug costs for seniors on Medicare at $2,000 a year. Even for expensive cancer drugs, it costs $10,000, $12,000, $15,000. I want to cap prescription drug costs at $2,000 a year for everyone. Yeah. Folks, I'm going to get in trouble for saying that, but if you want to get in Air Force One, we're going to fly to Toronto, Berlin, Moscow. I mean, excuse me. And it, well, even Moscow, probably. And bring your prescription with you, and I promise you, I'll get it for you for 40 percent the cost you're paying now. Same company, same drug, same place. Folks, the Affordable Care Act, the old Obamacare, it's, it's still a very big deal. Over 100 million of you can no longer be denied health insurance because of pre-existing condition. But well, my predecessor and many in this chamber want to take this prescription drug away by repealing the Affordable Care Act. I'm not going to let that happen. We stopped you 50 times before and we'll stop you again. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.